Hello everyone. Welcome to one more series of video lectures on design and analysis of algorithms. So let us first go through unit one. So under unit one, the first topic is algorithm criteria. So this question will be asked for two to three marks. This is one of the important questions that can be asked from unit one. Okay, so here we will have to first define what is an algorithm. After that, you have to explain what is the criteria of an algorithm to be satisfied. First, let us see the definition of an algorithm. So as of now, the definition that you will be knowing is algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure, right? Let us add a little more onto that definition. Algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure that if followed accomplishes a particular task. Okay. So here, along with this, I cannot call every step-by-step -step procedure for a particular task as an algorithm. Other than this, it has certain other criteria also to be satisfied. Let us see what is it. It has to basically satisfy five characteristics or five criteria it need to be satisfied. Those are input, output, definiteness, finiteness, and effectiveness. Let us see in detail about all this. Input is every algorithm should accept zero or more inputs. Can you just recollect the cases where an algorithm need not accept any input? Yes. So it is the case of a, a program or an algorithm where you initialize a variable with a value. So there you need not read any value from the keyboard. You need not accept any value. So it needs zero inputs. Suppose if the case is to read some variables. So there you might be accepting more than one variable, one or more variable you can read. Then coming to output. So the purpose of writing any algorithm or any program is to get a particular output. So now if you have devised a particular program and algorithm, in spite of you running it for many number of times, if you are giving the same set of inputs, it should always produce you the same output. Then only we say your program is working correctly. So in the same way, for your algorithm, all the time, when you are, whenever you are supplying the same input, it should always produce us the same output. And all the time, it should produce us only one output. So one time, it should, it should not be one. And the other time, it should not be any other output. Right? So all the time, it should give us only one output. Next, definiteness. Every algorithm must be clear and unambiguous. So instead of knowing about this, let us know what is meant by an ambiguous statement. Okay. So for example, if we have a statement like add 5 plus x or print 5. So now there is a dilemma. Which one to perform? Whether to add 5 plus x or to print 5. Okay. For a person also, if you give any instruction, if you give like this, either do this or that. So then even he might be in a dilemma. So the same is with the algorithm also. So this is an ambiguous statement. So you should not use this sort of statements in your algorithm. Next, finiteness. Every algorithm must halt after finite number of steps. Okay, so by this time already you might have worked with few programming subjects where you might be come across with infinite loops. Okay, so there it will never halt. It will be keep on running, running, running. So uh, that is not a finite algorithm. So every algorithm should produce a finiteness. Next, effectiveness. Every algorithm must be so basic in principle that if we trace out with paper and pencil, we should be able to get some feasible result, right? So whenever you listen to a lecture or do some task, if it is easy, what do you feel? Yeah, this, this lecture is very impressive. I can, it is very effective. I caught more, most of the points. So that will be your view, right? In the same way, for your algorithm also, whenever you are trying with a paper and pencil, you should be able to get an answer, a feasible result easily. For example, whenever you are working with integers, okay, that is effective. So because you feel it easy to work with that. Whereas if you take real numbers, that is floating point numbers. So then 
it takes a little time, right? And also, the way you round it, it might differ from the way that your friend is performing. You might take only two digits after the decimal point. He might take three digits after the decimal point. So you sometimes you might feel difficulty in performing the operation as well. Okay. So this is what meant by effectiveness. So these are the five criteria of an algorithm to be satisfied. Okay. So up to here, you should write for any of the university exam. So those who are preparing for competitive exams, I will add only one more point. That is algorithms which are definite and effective are also called as computational procedures. The best example is the voice of your computer. So that's it for this lecture. Hope you followed. If you enjoy my lectures, please do share with all those who are in need of these lectures. Do like, share and comment also. Thank you. See you in next video.